Hello friends! I'm back from New York City, back here in Michigan, after having retrieved a number of important instruments that I will use in service of the Beach Boys coming up here. Um, my idea that I put out one of these every day turned out to be um, a bit ambitious, but I'm back now bringing you another episode of uh, five minute feel flows, feels to reels, where I talk about every song on the Beach Boys recent box set, Feel Flows, which I encourage you to purchase or at the very least stream for free uh, so you can get to know the Beach Boys that you may not be familiar with from the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, it's great music. Anyway, I'm doing a little video on every song on the original two albums that this box set covers, Sunflower and Surf's Up. We're on, surf, or on uh, Sunflower now, track five, which is Deirdre, which is a Bruce Johnston song. Um, so the idea for this series is I just talk a little bit about one or two interesting musical things about each song, and briefly. Um, so Deirdre, um, perhaps the most interesting thing about the song is the opening chord. It's um, you could call it many things. It's essentially a G chord with an A in the bass. So you could call that, uh, what is that, an 11th? An A11? Or just a G with the A in the bass. And what it does is um, kind of takes on the characteristics of both chords. If Bruce had just gone with an A chord, which would we'd expect from the bass note, uh, that doesn't really make sense with the high D there against the A. Um, it's a fourth, not part of the chord. It is part of G. That's much more boring. So you sort of take the best of both worlds, throw the A in there to make it a little exotic, keep the G chord. And of course, making that a cappella and putting it through the comb filter and whatever uh, makes it sound even more dreamy. And I think that was the idea. It's kind of a dreamy chord in a way. I, whenever I play this chord, I think of the beginning of um, Marvin Gaye, Mercy Me. Uh, what is it? Anyway, uh, Deirdre. So, yeah, we... The song is interesting in the sense that it's, um, it's what I call sort of inevitable songwriting, where the chords sort of write themselves because of the way they're sequenced. So it's a, it's a very sort of songwriterly, inevitable chord progression. It starts with this nice um, major 7 to major 7 thing, D. Naturally, what else could you put there? That C chord is interesting because it's not really in the key. And then the uh, the chorus is similarly inevitable songwriting. Um, what other way could that go? You know. All is descending. So see how, if 
if we do the alternatives to the G over A coming out of that, how ridiculous it sounds. Um, Lots of doesn't work at all. G's just boring. But I think Bruce got it right there. Uh, I think that's about all I have to say about Deer Tree. It's really quite a good song. Um, and the production's pretty interesting too. Lots of interesting stuff going on there if you listen. But the production side of things is for another day. On this series, five minute, feel flows, feels reels, I'm just talking about the songs themselves outside of the performance, outside of the production. Next up, we've got It's About Time, uh, an interesting rocker with Earl Palmer on drums. I will have something to say about that when the time comes, but for now, please thank you for watching. Please thank you. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time on 5-Minute Feel Flows, Feels to Reels. I'm Joshlyn Hoisington. See you around.